and today we're going to show you some non-crunch crunches with the ball. So we are not fans of traditional abdominal crunches for many reasons. We're going to show you why. So let's just show you right now not well, basically what we don't want you to do. So start to lift your chest here and you'll see that Beatrix is really rounding, pulling on her head and tucking that tail. Let's do a couple bad ones here. So this is the before. She's really tucking. This is a really common mistake that people make in the gym or when working out on their own. So now let's stop doing that. Good. Okay. We want to maintain a gentle, neutral curve in the lower back. So maintaining that curve, your tailbone's going to feel heavy on the floor. You want more weight in your tailbone than in that ball. We're going to inhale to prepare. And as we exhale, we're going to gently, gently lift up without letting the tailbone tuck. Inhale, she's leaning back. And exhale, she's lifting without pulling on the head. Good. Eyes are just gazing over those kneecaps. Good. Look at how beautifully stable those hips are. Let's do one more. And then we're going to hold this. She's flattening, and every time she lifts, she's picking up her pelvic floor. She's doing a Kegel exercise. So now we're going to move on to lifting one leg at a time. So it's an inhale to prepare. And now exhale, gently lift one foot and engage the lower abs. Inhale, place the foot on the floor. And exhale, melt the belly in. Good, and this is where you're kegeling. Inhale, let it go. Exhale, pick up the pelvic floor. Notice that this is a very small motion in the upper body. Let's do three more. So really we're looking for a flattening and a cinching in the lower abs, never a popping or a coning. And let's stop there. Nice job. Oh, 